Watu wangu ni aje. Welcome to my YouTube channel The Kenyan American Home and uh, today we are going to cover the M1 visa. M1 visa. I know I've been asked a lot of questions uh, about the M1 visa. I think I've I've done maybe one or two videos on my YouTube channel. And so I kind of wanted to come in today so that we can talk about the M1 visa and you know talk about what is the what is the M1, you know what is the M1 visa and uh, how can you, you know, how can you come to the U.S. with the M1 visa? One of the things that I, I, it's really, it's a passion for me to educate people about the M1 visa is because a lot of people don't know about the M1 visa. And when you compare the M1 and the F1 visa, see, the M1 visa is way cheaper. It's way cheaper to come with an M1 visa. Your job prospects with an M1 visa are really high because in America, especially in America, when it comes to like trades, trades, there's a, they, yeah, it's hard to not get a job when, it, when you're doing trades, you know, when you're, when you're using your hands, when you're using your skills, uh, and especially when you're doing something that you really enjoy doing, trades are really good. They're really good. Uh, and your job prospects are really high. And so uh, M1 visa, one of the good things too about the M1 visa is a lot of times, let's say you're doing uh you, you, you know, you're taking a cosmetology class, uh, you know, course that you're learning about hairstyling, all that, you know, hair coloring, all those so many things. What happens is, is when, the, like, when it, because you have, like, theory in class, and then you have practicals, and a lot of practicals involve you actually working on people's hair. So you are, like, in an actual saloon, and you're actually, you know, you're doing people's hair, which is really, which is really nice. And then when it comes to maybe if it's an internship in there, you, can, you know, you can do the internship in that business. If it comes to, you know, OPT, OPT is op, uh, optional practical training. That means after you are done with school, you get the opportunity to work. You get the opportunity to work uh, in your particular field of study that means if you come here and you learn you know cosmetol and you can you know it's it, it, it varies some programs take 12 months some programs take 10 months but you know you can move on from one program to the next you know you can finish cosmetology if you know if you're done with that go do something else you know so, or just do barbering and go and then after you do you study your baba your baba uh it's, i don't know if it's barbering or baba Baba is like when, you know, cutting hair. You can learn cutting hair and then move on to learn, learning something else. And I'll show you, you know, what I'll, this is so many different things that you can venture into. Uh, and especially when you think about work, like work visas, uh, this also be, you know, your M1 visa could also lead to that. Because, you know, you talk about the EB3 and if, you know, they're looking for somebody with a skill that, you have that nobody you know nobody else has it, it, you know it makes it super unique maybe it's a big set let's let, let's take an example of a big salon okay and a big salon in hollywood california hollywood california big salon that has all these people who know how to deal with like white hair white people hair we often find and struggle especially you know as immigrants we often struggle to find people who are qualified to deal with our own hair. And so, uh, and, and you'll ask anybody who's, you know, most people who, whether, whether you're a man or you're a woman, uh, some of us resort to just getting, shaving all the hair because A, you go to somebody who doesn't know how to handle your hair and then you come out looking like a hot mess. And so people prefer you know people prefer to a do it themselves or which you know it's 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 too much work to do it yourself because there's nobody who is qualified in your area to do that and so this like this unique opportunities where like you go to la and you know how to do you like you're coming in you already know how to do african hair you already know how to do you know this black hair and then you come go to that school it, it would be easier for them to just petition for, you know, a work visa for you, work visa for you because you're like, you cater to the clientele and you have the skill and experience that a lot of people don't have, a lot of people don't have. So that's that's the thing, that's the M1 visa. But I, but then again, 
you know, after you're here, it's it's whatever you do with your visa. And the, the hardest thing is, again, getting into the U.S. and getting into the U.S. legally. So M1 visa is one of those ways you can get into the U.S. legally, get a trade and, you know, open up your open up your, your life to really awesome opportunities. Really awesome opportunities. I mean, entrep- entrepreneurship is really awesome when it comes to M1 because you're like on the job training, on the job training, on the job training. All right. So what what I wanted to start by talking about is why why am I so passionate about the M1 visa? I'm passionate about the M1 visa because not so many people apply for the M1 visa. And you know, and to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you like <clears throat> Like last, uh, this is this is statistics for Nairobi for January, this past January, this year. You'll see, you know, most of the visas that were applied, there were a few A visas. A visas are like diplomatic visas. Uh, B1, B2 is you're talking about visit visa. That's that's usually the, the highest, the most, most issued visas anywhere in the world are visit visas. So B... So some people just use the category B1, some people use B, you know, B1, uh, some people use B2, or you can use a combination of B1, B2. Either way. So that's the most number of visas that are issued in, you know, like in Nairobi or anywhere in the world, there's the visit visa. So you can see a thousand of them. And then the C1D visa. C1 is a transit visa. C1 is, uh, you know, you're maybe you're going to Jamaica, you know, you don't need a visa as a Kenyan to go to Jamaica, so you apply for the C1 because uh, you need to pass through the U.S. to get to the Caribbean. And so, so like, there were eight C1 visas issued. That's just a transit visa. C1D is a cruise ship. So cruise ship is, you know, it's over the years, uh, Nairobi, there's been a lot more people applying for the cruise ship, uh, cruise ship jobs. So, yeah, uh, you see 122 of them. Uh, D visa, E, E3, D, F1 is student. F1 is student. F2 is as student and their spouses. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm excited here because this has been an elusive number. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. So, uh, G visa is usually also to a, among their K-1 visa, which is a fiancé visa, J-1 visa, 28 of them. Uh, and then, this has been an elusive number, my people. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, this is exciting. So I'm excited because, A, our people is because they don't have the education, the knowledge to know that all these visas are, are, are you know, are there. And I'm excited I'm excited when people apply for all these visas that they did not apply before. So why I'm excited is because this number had been blank for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, I think, yeah, previous months. But finally, uh, I'm, let me let me even make it bigger. Let me make it bigger. Finally, we have an M1 visa. Someone applied and got an M1 visa. <laughs> This it, it's exciting for me. I don't know if it's exciting for you, but I'm glad. I'm because it's it's a visa that is not talked about as much. Whoa, which let me wait, let, let me let me see actually. So that, that was January. Let me go to December, see if there was anything in December. Because prior to that, M1 wasn't it wasn't appearing. It wasn't appearing, but now it is appearing. Uh, I'm looking at December. If you're wondering what I'm doing, control find Nairobi. Uh, oh my goodness! Even in December, yay, yay! So that's this is really exciting. Actually, it's it's super exciting to see this. This hasn't been, you know, this hasn't been the case. So this is December. This is December, my people. And you can see, like, yeah, 
And I, I always tell people, all, like these statistics, they don't change. Like you'll notice December is one of the worst months to go for a visit visa. Why? Like you can, you can even see in the, see in the thing, see in the, in this thing, that there was only like 640 B1, B2s. Like December, January was a little bit better with a thousand, but you see even December is even worse, 600 and something. Uh, and then, yeah, December, there was, there was also an M1 visa issued. Oh man. An M1 visa issued. Oh, here, yeah, let me, just for curiosity, I'm just going to look at November. I haven't looked at the numbers, I think, since October. It's exciting. It's exciting. Which means, uh, the, 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 oh, okay. Okay. So people, pe yeah. November is. Well, November is what, what I used to see. This is what I was seeing a lot. You'll see, you'll see November, there's no, no M1. This is like, if you go to most of the other months, I don't think there's, I had seen, this is the first time ever. And because I haven't looked at the December numbers or January numbers that I'm looking, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I was wrong. I was wrong, my people. I was wrong. Oh, no, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah. So December. So this is December. Yeah, there's an M1 visa. One of them. January, there was one of them, too. So, yeah. So people are applying for the M1 visa, which is nice. And But this is, yeah. So we're talking about uh the m1 visa today so the, what's the m1 visa m1 visa is a visa for vocational and technical training so these are uh these are programs that and it, i think it happens a lot and you, even in like my country kenya when you're not as good in school your parents choose to take you to maybe to learn a skill so trade schools are what is really m1 so if you if you want to learn welding if you want to learn carpentry if you want to learn uh you know uh bec becoming an electrician if you want to learn something about construction you know uh, hvac hvac you know uh, technician beauty uh become a barber all those so many things so those all those are uh m1 visa they fall under technical vocational technical vocational so it's really a trade a trade that you can use to make money so that's kind of how you you know that's kind of how you come with an with an m1 visa and there are there are a number of schools around the around the u.s that issue you so it, it's pretty much the same process as an f1 visa f1 is when people come and study in universities community colleges and M1 is when people come and, you know, study in this vocational and technical training institutes. So it's basically, you know, all of them get an I-20. You get an I-20, but when you compare the cost of, when you compare the cost of going even, because the community college is cheaper than even going. So it's in order of expense, it's cheaper to come with an M1 visa. And then it's cheaper to come with a community college, and then after, and then it's it's more expensive to come with a university. So the M1 visa, the fraction, the fraction of the M1 visa is like the average is about well, like between anywhere from eight thousand US dollars to to about. To about 14 fifteen thousand us dollars that's the maximum cost so like compare that to like one academic year for you know like everett community college you'll hear it's like 20 what twenty two thousand that's just one and for community college you need two years so that means you'll be needed like forty four thousand so it's a lot it's a lot to come 
with an F1 visa compared to the M1. Because with the M1, that anywhere, like 10,000, 11,000, all the way to like 15,000, you've completed everything. The validity of the M1 visa depends on the program that you're taking. But just like the F1 visa, F1 visa, you can come do your bachelor's degree. After you finish your bachelor's degree, you can move on to that master's degree. Then you finish from one master's, you can move to another master's. One of the things I really appreciate about the M1, F1 visa is it gives you time to figure things out. Gives you time to figure whether, hey, do I want to pursue work in the U.S.? Or do I want to go back home? With the F1 visa, you can move from one degree to the next, just the same way as an M1 visa. You can move from one, move from one course to the next course. One course may be 12 months, another may be 11 months, another may be seven. But what it's doing, it's it's giving you time. It's giving you time to decide what you know it's it's basically planning it's giving you some good planning legally so you you know you're here and maybe you want to because ultimately what happens is the good thing about the m1 visa is it is so good in the u.s it is also so good back in your home country why is it so good back in your home country compared to like an F1 visa. So like an F1 visa person comes and studies a bachelor's degree in whatever. And then they do their master's degree in whatever. And then they decide to go back home. Let's use Kenya. You know, people have so many degrees back home. Like how many people are sitting on master's and degree and, and all this bachelor's degree and they don't have a job? So many people. So many people are sitting on all those degrees and they don't have jobs. But with an M1 visa, what is the good thing about that is you don't necessarily, even if you move back home, you're not necessarily looking for somebody to employ you. Why? Because with an M1 visa, it, it pretty much you have the certificate, the license to start your own business. This is, and this, and it's the cheapest. Cheapest, but it is one of the, what do you call it? One of the, that, that thing that has so many, it's, it's very vibrant. Is it not, that's, vibrant is not the word. Ah, that word disappeared. But it's, it just, it's so good in so many things. I don't know if you can picture this with me. Like somebody who maybe learned, learns uh maybe and I'll, I'll we'll go through some schools and you'll see some programs that I, you know i'm talking about somebody who learns hair design in a school in the u.s so they're learning hair cutting hair coloring hair styling hair design permanent waving relaxer extensions and all those so many things and you're learning this with because so, I mean, and a lot of people who maybe are wanting to jump into maybe hair design, they already have experience. Maybe they're doing something back home in there. They're doing something, you're already maybe working in a saloon. You already have the experience to deal with African hair. And you come to the US and you learn how to deal with Wazungu hair. Wazungu is, you know, the white people hair. White people hair is so different from our hair. Now, picture this. You have a skill that not many people back in Africa have. You have a skill that not many people back in Africa have. And look at look at look at Kenya. Look at the number of tourists that come in who are, you know, Wazungu with their hair. Their hair is so different from us. I'm sure they struggle just like we struggle in the US to find somebody who will cut our hair or do our hair. Now imagine you. You've learned to do their hair in their country. You go home, open your own salon, and you're doing U.S. hair. My guy. You guy, my guy. So this, it's, it's, it's a very vibrant degree in so many things, so many ways, man. Like a carpenter comes in here, and you learn, you go to 
carpentry here. And it's like the way people use the carpentry in the US, I know because I have a brother who's a carpenter in Kenya. Carpentry in the US, it is like it's 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 like when you compare carpentry in Kenya, carpentry in the US, my God, we're like so many years behind in the way they use it here versus the way we use it back home. Transplant that knowledge back home, man. That's why I get excited about the M1 visa. Because it's not just, oh, you're going to school, you're going to study, and then, because that's what a lot of schools do, like when you come with an F1, is ultimately you want to finish school and get employed. Get employed with an employer, and you work, you work, you work, you work, you work. But when you when you have a carpet, when you're a carpenter, you can start your own business back home, you can start your own business here. It's it's like, that's it's it's very versatile. That's the word. M1 visa is very versatile. Like when it comes to a lot of people who do who do these things, like you're a plumber. I so I've, I sat with a plumber on one of my trips, and this guy was telling me he's 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 a, he's a white person, and so he contracts with this company, a company called Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is a chicken. It's like it's a it's a it's a KFC, but. A, I think it's a higher level KFC. KFC is uh, is a fast. KFC is down here. Uh, Chick Fil A is up here. So what he does is he's contracted with Chick Fil A, the company. And every time Chick Fil A opens a new franchise, they call him, and they tell him, "Hey, we need you to do the framing." So that's what that's kind of plumbing he does is framing the structure of you know, like if they need to open a new store, he comes in, does all the framing. And you guy, my guy, like he, this is a guy who's telling me and he's showing me, showing me the contracts. And because I, I mean, I, I just started a conversation with him. I'm trying to convert, by the way, how much he makes. <laughs> it's crazy. For a job that is going to take him two weeks. This is a plumber. When you think about a plumber, you think about someone plumbing bathrooms. This guy in two weeks. Contracts are like 60,000 US dollars. You know how much that is in Kenya shillings? 7.9 million. Kenya shillings, 7.9 million in two weeks. You guy, my guy. Who, like, what degree, who, which degree will give you that much money? You tell me, which degree will give you that much money? Not very many. Not very many. And so, like, it's like, that's the thing. That's why I love the M1 visa, because of what you can do with it. It's so hands-on, and you just don't, you know, if you're just tired of being employed, you can just say, hey, I don't want to be employed anymore. Save up enough capital, start your own business. Ah, yeah. Let's go. Let's look at some schools here. And because I always like to be practical. Let's look at some schools here. And share this tab. And I really hope a lot of you apply for the M1 visa. It's underapplied, man. It's underapplied. But it's 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 so versatile, man. So versatile. So I'll show you an example of uh some of the programs, man, do I, I think I have to over expand it so that you guys can see. Let me know if you can see this one. Let me know if you can see. So these are some of the programs that are, uh, that you can learn. So, you know, and, and like the number of hours that go along with them. Number of hours that go along with them. Uh, Yusla, Yusla, I'll answer your question. How much money? It's very cheap. Very cheap. Yeah. I, I think, I don't know if you, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? I That's why, that's why I, I'm always excited about the M1 visa, man. 
You guy, you come in here and you learn American standard way of doing things. That opens the door to infinity for you. Eh? It opens the door. Because it's like, imagine you're in Kenya, man. You're in Kenya. And there's all these Wazungus who are, I'm sure, frustrated at the way, at the standards of which people are doing things back home. And you know the Kenyan fundies. You know the Kenyan fundies and Africa, you know Tanzanian fundies, Ugandan fundies. You know, and what, what sometimes when it comes to standard and substandard work, they do. Yeah, yeah. If you've never been frustrated by a fundi, my friend, eh? There's no age limit, by the way, no age limit for M1. Eh? As long as you are willing to come here and learn something, there's no age limit. Yeah. So what happens is part of the reason too, I also I always get excited about the M1 is so many people are struggling looking for invitations to come here for visit visas. They're all crowding in the embassy. They're all crowding in the embassy. Oh, um, guys, and then crowding online, talking to all these American people in America, Kenyans in America. Send me invitation. Send me invite. And I don't even so like how am I going to send an invitation to somebody? I don't even know. It's like send me invitation. Invite me. Invite me to the you invite me to why are you begging, my friends? You don't need to. Yeah? There's so many other, you don't need to know anybody in the US. All you need is information, which is what I give you. Pure, undefiled information. Don't need to beg anybody. And the good thing about this, and I, as, as I walk you through, the truth about our people, and I don't know if I should talk in English here or I should mix it up, Kosababu, when people apply for the F1 visa and the program is like 25,000 a year, what percentage of people in Kenyans do you think, even though they might show up with the banks, even though they might give the schools all these bank statements, wangapi unadhani wakona iyo pesa? Yeah, nauliza swali. Wangapi, wangapi unadhani wakona iyo pesa? How many do you think? Wakona iyo do? Would you be surprised kujua ni about less than 10% wako na hiyo pesa? Au wengine ni mahasla wa Mungu. I had to Au wengine ni mahasla. Unadhani watu wanakuja? I know. Uh, Pole for speaking French but I think ina uh, I think this one is a uh, is a good one to speak in French. Yeah, I mean and even a lot of people who come here, they struggle. They struggle because it's like you come here or maybe you even, you, you know, you have that money and you come here and something happens back home and the money kaput. And then they're asking you in one semester, we need 6,500. And you're like, whoa. Yeah, like I interviewed, the guy I interviewed from uh, Everett Community College, he's got a scholarship, partial scholarship, but he still has to pay 6500 So that means without the scholarship, they're probably asking for like what? Like 10000 or so? Uh, and the guy, do you know how much money he had? Out of the 6500 Miambili, 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 200. <laughs> it's the nature. So how, yeah, but the statements, they looked very healthy. Nini nilifanyika. Yeah, the statements look very healthy, by the way. I'm trying to navigate if you guys understand what I'm trying to kufanya. Ju. Yeah, atutaki pia kuanika vitu zetu. Unaongea sengine na code. 
hawezi hawezi rada hii story tukiongea na na code eh yeah. but that's hiyo ni ukweli watu wengi hawana hiyo pesa they don't have that you know so it's it's expensive for f1 okay so this is why it makes the m1 super it makes the m1 like a, a really good option but people are not using it but why are people not using it because people don't know about how many content creators do content on m1 visas i'm one of the very few when i'm gaga about m1 visas and i've been consistently talking about it and i think i'll keep talking about it until what to until people get it until people get it eh so no age limit there's no age it's just the same way as school you remember maruge the old guy who went to primary school at 80 something just the same way m1 visa you don't even if you're say a six to five and you want to run how to praba you come praba you can come praba come do plumbing yeah, yeah. if you're fifty five if you're forty if you're forty five if you're that a seven if you're twenty if you are eighteen hmm come do it so the minimum requirement is usually a high school diploma but in some instances they can exempt you of that they can exempt you from having a high school diploma high school diploma is what you guys call kcse certificate kcse certificate 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 aya let's 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 let us look at this nini Eh hey, uh, I think those are the only questions I so ni pesa ngapi hivi? I show you my guy. I show you my. I got you. I got you. Ah. Aesthetics. So no no, you can come learn aesthetics. Tells you the number of hours and it's 6 months. Learn how to do like eyelash extensions, skin care, hair removal, threading, blah blah blah, micro micro brush, eh, yeah, whatever, iso or you can you can do manicuring learn how to do manicures pedicures natural nails uv gels acrylics sculpture nails i'm sure madam i don't understand what that is but i'm sure i'm sure sure women understand what that is or you can come learn hair design you know it's 11 months and you learn hair cutting hair coloring hair styling hair design hair permanent waving hair relaxer hair extension and then my kinyozi guys if you are a kinyozi there you want to come to learn kinyozi cutting kwanza cutting white hair come it's 7.5 months you learn hair cutting hair styling hair shaving hair additions my guy yes hair additions and for some you will help the bold bold men association will be very helped when you come learn this cuz i'm sure the us has uh, more technology when it comes to covering bald hair or even growing they yeah they have here they have they have the technology to grow hair or uh you can learn master aesthetics oh yeah the business side of things chemical blah 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 uh, how much is uh, so master aesthetics it's 9.5 months or you can learn cosmetology cosmetology is a bigger so it's 12 months so you learn so many more things in cosmetology it's cosmetology it's pretty much it's more hours compared to the hair design but you learn more you learn more an extra month you can also learn to be an instructor you can learn to teach men look at this look like You guys my guy. Do you see you can learn to teach to become an instructor. So open your own school and be instructing people on cosmetology, being a, an instructor or a manicuring instructor. Can you imagine starting your own business and and teaching people, you know, how to do all these things? Baba instructor, you go teaching people, you open your own school. <coughs> yeah. Open your own school. That's four months. I mean, you can you can go through the course. Like you can learn, you can do cosmetology twelve months, and then after you do that, you come add another 
you do another four months instructor. You do another instructor. Yeah, and then I think there's a two-day class on microblading. As you are, madam, madam, I know you understand what this is. Some of us are floating, but I know women, you understand what that is. You understand? Yeah. I think you guys should be, ex it's exciting. This is an, ex well, I think M1 visa is one of, it's, it's an exciting visa. It's, I think, in so many ways. It's just that it's non-immigrant. But it's so exciting because if you're just tired of being employed in a salon, doing all these things, you can just say, I quit. Go start your own thing. Start your own thing. Man, it's empowering. Empowering. It's empowering. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let's let's look at another. Uh, let's look at another school here in New York. Let's look at another school here in New York. Da, 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 da. Yeah, man, give me some likes. Give me some shares. If you know somebody who who can use this, please share it to them. This is really good information, man. You don't get this information on a day to day. This is really good information. Some of you will become millionaires, my guy. My guy, you guy, my guy, my my lady. You guys will become millionaires from this is it's one of the things I love about trades is the potential for making money. I just told you the guy, the plumber guy making 7.9 million every 2 weeks. Even if you don't make that much, like, I'll, I mean, I'll tell you, a plumber comes to my house, looks at my toilet or something that is, is leaking and, and stuff, or there's like, you know, there's just something that needs to be fixed. They don't, I mean, a lot of times they don't quote you anything like less than 500 500 and it's a job he's going to do in an hour, two hours, three hours. He goes three hours, he's like go hitting you with a thousand. This is a plan by coming to my house. I'm telling you. The HVAC technician, because this is actually recent and it's painful. This guy came, look at looked at my furnace because people here, they need... People here they need what people here they need heat when it's winter and they need air conditioner when it's summer. And one of them breaks, it's you want it fixed. I mean I I, I tried YouTube. I tried YouTube to become a HVAC technician to fix the issue that I was having. I was unsuccessful. This guy came and then 45 minutes. You just did the mambo jambo. Cha 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 cha. Ha. It's fixed. 45 minutes. And then I look at my bill. A thousand and fifty. Forty-five minutes. Cause he said, oh, okay, I need to fix the change the motherboard. And I go look, man. I look at online how much the motherboard costs. Then I look at how much I just paid. Yo, you guy, my guy. 45 minutes. This guy just made 138,000 in 45 minutes. And I could not even, yeah. <clears throat> and you can't even bargain. Yeah. Hey, this is a M1 has money, money, money. Especially after you learn and start your own thing, you guy. But remember me when you guys are millionaires. Remember, there was this guy, the guy in America, no, he opened my eyes, and now I, I am I have an empire. Remember me, Tafadari. Remember me. Hey, say, ah, let this guy drink tea, man. Good tea, yeah? good tea. Remember me when, you, when you're successful. Because I know this video will help people. You, 
whether it's opening that door for you to come to the US, but also opening that, you know, those eyes to start your own business. Remember me. Remember me, please. Please do. Please do. Uh, <clears throat> How about plant operators? Uh, plant operators, yeah. Those, there are schools too for plant operators. And actually, so the same thing that applies in the US, it also applies in Canada. Except that to them, it's in a different... Uh, I think yeah, they you Canada doesn't separate them as M1, F1. They all you go to school, you learn plumbing, you go to school for cosmetology, you go to school. So Canada too. So what I'm giving you here is information that is both viable in the US but also in Canada. So instead of struggling to look for a visa, uh, to look for a, an invitation letter, venture into this. These ones are yeah. Because, and again, you know, getting that visa, if people with the Miambili in the Ambosho can get that visa, Sembu say you, yeah? So how did the, this person, Akona Miambili, F1, I'll do up a statement, yeah? Kama unajua, unajua. I don't have to. Isn't it vitua sinini? Sangine na ungeaga in parables so that munaelewa na tusipia tusicho tusichome. Muna nishikanisha? You get me? You get me? Somebody aki tell me you get me because somebody tell me you get me. Do the other question is where bank statement, bank statement Oh, ah, uh, someone tell me you get me. Bank statement. Is it parable ni poa? Yeah, because atutaki pia kuchoma. Eh, unajua sengine ya, atutaki kuchoma. Watanini hapo wazi alafu. Iki tuwe translating vile. Vile inafa. Yeah. Eh, kwanza, if you go, ukienda hapo nini kwanza na sikianga. If you go there, Luduli Avenue. If you're in Kenya. And you buy uh, chips, waru, viazi at uh, Sanford, and then and Goko, half chicken, half chicken. And then when you're holding your chicken and waru's, oh my gosh, don't remind me about Sanford, man. <laughs> Miss A, hey, me, I would pay somebody to bring me Sanford, like, hey, yeah. But if Ukitoka Ivy Sanford with the, your, your chicken and, and, and and, and fries, and you trip uh, long enough, you'll find yourself in a road where there is a river. And so many things happen in that road where there is a river. Amen? Amen, church? Amen? <laughs> if you don't get it, Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. If you don't get it, forget about it, my friend. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, so this is a school in uh, in Manhattan. Manhattan. It talks about the requirements for F. Oh, God, there's no way I can remove this thing. Uh, yeah. So I'm asking you, what if you book Tanzania? You, you can still book Tanzania, you can book Swaziland, you can book anywhere you want. Bora, you get, Bora, you get the, the visa. Ah, yeah. And you know, the, the only thing is, you only may need to make it into the US. Once you're in here, my friend, yeah, maneuvering is not, is you just, yeah, you were born and raised in Kenya, you will survive here. You will survive here. So, okay, so this one is in Manhattan. And they tell you, you know, talk about the M1 visa that uh, to obtain this, you must present signed I-20. So this, after you apply in the school, they issue with an, with a, with an I-20. You use the I-20 to fill the, the DS-160. And then, yeah, 
So for you to get the I-20, obviously you need to show proof of financial ability to pay the school. And um, <coughs> so yeah, it tells you M1 students are admitted for a fixed period of time, but you can always extend that. You can always extend that. You can always extend that. So they may stay for the length of their training programs plus any OPT plus a 30 day grace period at the end of their training. Uh, and then say the talking about M1 students may not work off campus while studying. They may, and they may not change their status to F1. But obviously you, there's so many other so many other nini, so many other visa uh, visas you can change your M1 to. If you go to school and you fall in love, well, well, well. If you go to school and somehow you get a work visa, well, well, well. If you go to school and you somehow win the DV lottery, well, well, well. Yeah. So. There's options, there's options, there's options. The only visa that doesn't have very many options is the C1D visa, the cruise ship visa, which is the visa I tell people, if, you have, if you're if you on a C1D visa, please go back home, apply a different visa. Come, come here with a different visa, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, I think to finish up the this, they're saying you need a high school, you know, KCSE diploma or equivalent. So that means you can you can do something else and still qualify. It says foreign diplomas you can use West to translate them, or I think they use West or Global Language Services or ECE, and then tells you click here for more opportunities I mean uh, okay that's taking long let me let me move to a different let me move to a different school different school with a different uh, different school. And we also see something different. Ah, yeah. So we are in Iowa. We we're in Iowa. So we came from Washington to New York. Now we're in Iowa. All right. So in Iowa, and I'm, there's so many different things you can, how much money should you have for a student? You should have enough money to cover their fees. So however many the fees are, however much the fees are, that's how much you need to have. That's how much you need to have. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so this is a, a school in uh, Iowa. It's Northeast Iowa Community College. And so kind of gives you the checklist. Kind of gives you the checklist. Uh, it says complete this as an international student. And I'll, I'll, I'll save all the links after, after the video. It says submit an official secondary certificate so your kcse uh it's in english and then the you fill the financial certification form that you know so this one is a two-year program this one is a two-year program so you're just showing that you can cover twenty six thousand. this is a different course than the cosmetology it's a different school and then they need health insurance uh, and then they need a current copy of your passport you don't need this because you're a kenyan so if you look down here you see the following countries have been approved for waivers and in that list is kenya tanzania and uganda so for so for many of those countries it's your you have waived so the only thing you really need is complete the form your KCSC, uh, your high school certificate, then this financial form with a bank statement, 
and then you complete the health insurance form and then your passport. That's about it. That's about it. That's it. And then it gives you like when each you can apply for if you're out of country, the summer summer school starts in March, fall starts in June, and spring starts in Oh no no, these are the deadlines for applying. So you should have applied by these dates if you want to go to the spring, the fall or the summer, summer school. Okay. All right, and then let's look at let's look at some of the programs and some of the costs that you guys were asking. All right. So you see a program like uh carpentry. This is coming to become a carpenter. So if you come to become a carpenter, uh, it will cost you 10000 $10,000, 48 credits. It's a diploma, so that means it's two years. 10000 Pakeake only. Yeah, so and then, yeah, so you have all this. Uh, let's look for heavy i think i saw people asking about heavy equipment search for heavy equipment there is this the construction equipment operator construction equipment operator oh well, why is this one only four thousand Oh, cost 96. Whoa, this one is saying that it's only 4,000. Saying none credit though. Uh, but I know, I know there's, there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of programs that, Be search diploma construction apply filters no program construction uh, power mechanics and transport nope oh let me see certificate No program, but certificate construction. Ah, maybe this thing doesn't. I don't know why. It's refusing. Maybe just uh, wait. So let's let's look at electrician. No, I look, oh, look clear the filters. Let me look for electrician. Yeah, but there's a lot of, there's a lot, okay, so, so you see, yeah, I think it's the way they have the search. So you can be a commercial residential electrician, or you can do the industrial electrician. You see, if you do, yeah, so this one is longer, the associate, and it's 16,000. And then you have the commercial residential electrician, 10,000. So you see that the costs are very, they're very doable, very doable, very doable, not very expensive. Like look at plumbing. No plumbing. They don't have a plumbing. No plumbing. No plumbing. Let me.
Let me find you some some more schools. Paula, my my thing is being my network. My computer is being slow. Ah, yeah. Ikiendelea tunaweza uliza maswali, but just basically that's the nini. The application actually is very easy. Oh, oh, let me show. I was gonna show you the application. Okay, I was gonna show you the application. Yeah, so whatever it says, a cost is how much you essentially should have in your bank statement. Which, when you look at these numbers, and you go to look at a normal college, totally different. It's like half, or like. 40% of how much you'll be required in a community college usually for F1. F1. Uh, let me share this. So, like, if you want to apply to that Iowa school, you submit the online application, so you just pretty much just go. Uh, I can go here. Yeah. And... It's basically, you know, just basically you create an account, future and applicants, future students, just go click, create an account, and then it's going to give you all this. And so let's say, uh, you know, say the Kenyan. American um, let me make it bigger for you and then the Kenya King American um, Gmail dot com um, Gmail dot com and just say come oh the password Okay. It says please check your email for the activation. <laughs> Let me check my email. Verify account. So they'll send you an email where you need to verify your account. And then it says it's activated. And then we go here and refresh. Oh, I think login. So I'm showing you live live what you need to do basically. So I see welcome. Let me supply. Ah yeah. And then you know, so it gives it brings you to this page in Aquambia application. Uh okay. Application for admission, a high school student. So even high school students can apply. So it asks you select the application, application for admission. And save and continue. Stanomosh school fees, you know, 
So no more unless you're sleeping in class, my friend. You guy, my guy. I told you there's a guy who has 200 Kenya, uh, US dollars. Now I'm 6,500 US dollars. Na bado wako ndani ya hii nini? So yeah, so basically, so this is the application. This is the this is the biggest thing you need to do. It's just the application form. Your goal, unakuja hapo na sema, unataka say, say unataka kujia kufanya carpentry. You wanna be a carpenter? Unakuja hivo. Your goal for attending is and postgraduate credit. Uh, improve skills, self, uh, ISO, present self-improvement, start, change career, you know, and so you can say, I want to start, change career. I want to start, change career, applying to campus, alafu, una chagua eco, carpentry is only in, is only in uh, Kalma. Semester you plan to enroll, so we're in summer now, so maybe say uh, fall 2024, which best describes your background. Uh, your transfer, that means you're transferring summer, returning freshman, you've never attended. Nasema when freshman. I'm pursuing a dual degree with uh, Alpha Kuninio, so you just save and continue. And so forth and so yeah. And you just yeah. So the process to the isn't of it I think is in Guinea detail to the Kawaida. Akuliza, what's your name? Iso Zote Sex. Oh yeah. I can go through this with you. Kuliza your first name, email yako, country of resident, unaweza sema Kenya, Kenya, Kenya taifa. The address, you put your address, PO box if applicable, your phone number, date of birth, sex, your male or female, Je uh, sex is male or female, gender. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so funny that we I choose a woman, man, non-binary, agenda, transgender, transgender, and then they ask you, yeah. So are you Hispanic or Latino? You're black. So Auko. Personal pronoun. This is the first school known our connais at he, ha, him. Come utaki kuito is the Unasema tu hivi, tumia tu jina yangu. Staki, staki ba pronoun. Alafu, you can select one of those. You're in a blacky, blacky. Are you a citizen? No. Are you applying as an international student? Yes. Uh, what is your native language? Kona uh, S for Swahili. Na wana option ya nini. So, unachagua tu English. Iowa, utakuwa na resident. You are not military. Do you consider yourself any of the following? Unaeka. None of the above. Kama muna nini. Kuliza, what is the highest level of education? Unasema nilingia high school. Nikamaliza. Contact. Unaeka nini. Emergency contact. Gina na, 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 na phone number. Alafu, you save and continue, and that would be pretty much it. Yeah. Just also, I love previous education. So, ni upper application. Previous education, utaeka yu education umesoma. Kamu kuna ingine. Alafu, confirmation. Niku send. That's it. Iyo tu. You don't need even to pay anybody. Kukufanyia. Mekuanyesha, meku chekia through your... Yeah, this... It was pretty much the same process to most of those other colleges. So now pretty much the same information. Same information. Hey. And we are now zoomed about the M1 visa. OPT, they say 
OPT, you get one month for every four months of study. So for a maximum of like six months, for a maximum of six months. Um, questions, my people. But again, ukisha ingia hapa, hizo vitu zingine usizikupige pressure sana. Usizikupige pressure sana. All right. They, the, z, z, them, him, they, us, higher, off. Yeah? They, people, you're quiet. Did you understand? Are we good? Are we good? Are we goody goody? Kwenu mmelala, watu 59, you're sleeping in class. Are we good or are we good to good day? Have you been empowered? Are we gonna start hearing all these testimonies? Are we gonna start hearing all these testimonies, my people? I'll put all the links kwanini. All the links kwa chat. All the links kwa chat. Certificates are Kenya zinaweza tafuta shule. Sinona certificate ndio ina ku admit shule hapa. Certificate ya Kenya that KCSC it, it gives you the, the opportunity to kuingia shule hapa. So yeah. Kumbe tumesoma sana. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it was a good class, my friends, my friends. It was a good class. I think we've, yeah, no, I'm waiting for testimonies. I'm waiting for people, I'm waiting for people to come here with testimonies. To change that number of M1 from one to many. One to many. One to many. Yeah. Yeah. So M1 is the only the only thing we the badilisha ni M1 to F. Can't change M1 to F. Uh yeah. M1 to F. M1 to F. So you can't yeah, you wezi ingi toka M1 ingia shu later because it doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Nime kupata kwanjia, but I appreciate you are to tete. Kuna admission fee is usually fifty dollars or a hundred. So a hundred is what uh thirteen hundred fourteen yeah naire tialeoni. Maximum of thirteen thousand application, but usually some are most of them are like fifty dollars. My question is M1 Akuna Kutafuta job ya kuji support Kisama. Uh Willie hey, you guy, my guy. Yeah. Uliza hao watu wana survive aje by the way. Wao watu walikuja na 200 na bado wanaenda shule. People survive, bana. People survive. People survive. Just need to to be open-minded na hustler. Nime, nime.